Okay, so just get that cut off because the video is long. I know. I hope that you enjoy this. <laughs> so the profile image is 36 by 36 long. Okay, height. Now, now sometimes it cuts off like that because the camera gets too hot. It's obviously too hot over here, and maybe because of our amazing coding. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we have the profile image height. Let's have let's the height to be the top painting plus the caption height plus the top painting plus the profile image height plus the bottom painting. Okay, so let's make some space here. Okay, so the top painting plus the caption height plus the top painting plus the a profile image height plus the bottom painting. Machent. So that is our height, and our job is to return this height. So now that is all it takes, my friend, to do this thing. Before we run, before we conclude this thing, let's run the project and see if it works. And my guess is it is not working yet for the height, but let's just look at it, okay? Uh, missing the type CG float. Oh, by the way, if it is none, we return 0, 0.0 over here. Okay, so here's the project. Let's have a look. Ta-da! Pretty good, isn't it? At least for the second try. That's good, my friend. <laughs> okay, so we have this thing. Now, look at several things. Number one is that the text, all of the images is the same height. That's not good. Number two is that the text here, it's too long because this image should be longer right should be taller and this thing is still the same height and this thing is too height so what's the problem over here the problem is that the attribute doesn't know about the height of the photo the problem is the attribute doesn't know about the height of the photo okay so that is the problem the attributes that we have inside the pinterest layout okay you go over here you will see that where is that? Where is, where, is, where, is, where is our attribute? Here we go. Attribute, it just knows the frame, doesn't know the height of the photo. So that we can change with the height of the photo UI, okay? Dynamically, because auto layout. We use auto layout here. So the last step, my friend, number six, I know this has been long, but the last step is set the custom height attribute for each of the cell. This is so cool. You will use auto layout to, I know that some of you, Hate that to layout. I don't hate it, I love it, but I hope that from this thing, you will love it, okay? So, the way we're going to do this is inside the Pinterest layout again. Okay? Pinterest layout, we're going to create a class called Pinterest layout attribute. Layout Pinterest layout attribute, and then we do UI collection view layout attribute, like that. It will subclass UI collection view layout attribute, okay? And then here, there's several methods. Number one, we have to have the photo height, which is a CG float to be 0, 0.0 right now. And then, because we, this attribute is going to be reused, right? It is going to be reused by the system. It going to be get copied. Then we have to implement those methods. So that whenever this thing gets copied, whenever this thing gets dequeued or those kind of things, the photo height remained, remained copied, right? So let's say the copy with the zone over here, okay? Copy with zone, right? So here, let the copy to be super dot copy like that. And then we do the zone. And then we add the Pinterest layout delegate. Oops, Pinterest layout. Layout attribute. Ah, Pinterest layout attributes like that, right? So we make a copy using the super, but also we make sure that the copy dot photo height gets this photo height. And then we return the copy like that. Another one is 
is this thing whenever it gets compared is this equal to another attribute it's just required by ns copy i believe so we go into the attribute it has ui copying ns copying and this ns copying it has it is a protocol it has the copy right and then it has i believe another protocol what is that is that we require us gosh it requires to implement the is equal like this okay is equal so if let the attribute equals to the object as the pinterest layout attribute then if the attribute dot dot photo height to be the same as the photo height of this attribute then we return the super dot is equal to our object like this okay so we will call the super implementation but if it is not then we will just return false just the kind of like paperwork of copying stuff okay so now we have the attributes that has the photo height all we have to do is changing this thing inside the cache right we have the attributes cache over here we change this thing into pinterest layout attributes okay and then inside the prepare method over here all we have to do is uh over 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 here when we create the layout attribute we just have to do instead of ui collection view layout attribute we do pinterest layout attribute like that okay and then we set the attribute that photo height to be the photo height <clears throat> Let's set it before we set the frame. Okay. So now we have the attribute. Cool. Okay. Last step. Last step. Believe me, this is the last step. Is that we have to conf we have to tell the cell goes over the post cells inside the views stuff over here, right? The views. We have the post cells. Click into that. And then in the cells over here, the post collection view cell. Okay. We have to tell this collection view cell that, hey, I have a bunch of attributes for you to apply those attributes. So the collection view controller is going to tell this cell or collection view cell, collection view is going to tell this cell that, hey, please apply those attributes to you. So we're going to have now whenever we do that, it's going to be the Pinterest layout attribute, right? So go over here Bef after our update ui like this right we have a method called update i'm sorry apply uh layout attributes like this okay and then we do super dot apply layout attribute and we do layout attribute as pinterest layout attribute like that okay and then we check if let the attribute equals to the layout attribute as the pinterest layout attribute we check to make sure that yes indeed this is pinterest layout attribute then we're going to do something over here so that we change the image height right if let attribute uh do we have to hmm apply it you right attribute right and then we call attribute as layout attributes like that okay or actually we don't have to cast it like this we just have to do super dot apply layout attributes like that okay now how can we change the image height because now we know that we can use attribute the photo height over here to change it let's something equals to this thing right so we know that we can change the image height which is this cell has the post image view post image view and we can change the height of the photo from the attribute how can we do that how can we do that huh we can change it inside the bounds of the views i guess but it does work because we use auto layout 
But now, utterly, I means that we set the constraint of the height or the width of the image view inside auto layout. Now, inside each of the constraint in auto layout, each constraint is of type NS layout constraint, I believe, and that thing has a property called constant. And whenever you change the constant of the constraint, you also change the size of the image or anything that you apply that constraint to. That's pretty neat. So all we have to do now is go into a main storyboard. I don't know why did I just like uh, just like whispering like that. Maybe it's more dramatic. <laughs> okay, so go on the right hand side, open, I hold the option key, click into the post cells, and then goes like this, click into the image. And then over here, over the document outline, you see there's a constraints, constraints for the post image view, and then there will be height equals to 200. The reason why, whatever you do, whatever you change in your code, and the image is still the same 200, is because the constraint keeps it that way. So all we have to do now is make an IB outlet. This is amazing, I love it because I'm new to this thing as much as you are, so you and I both know that learning is evergreen, so I, I'm just amazed by what we can do with these kinds of stuff. So we just hold control key from the height over here to this thing, release it, and then we have an NS layout constraint, and let's call this thing post image view height, oops, uh, height layout constraint like that, right? Post image view, layout, height, layout, constraint. Post image view, height, layout, constraint. And we connect it like this, right? So we have that thing. So let's open up our main editor like that. So now we have the post image view, height, layout, constraint like that. Right, so all we have to do now is inside this apply, instead of do let equal something like silly like this, we all have to do is post image view like that, height layout constraint dot constant to be the new attribute dot photo height. Ha! Huh. Run the project. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, let's see, let's see. Okay. Let's see this. Whoo, ma, ma, ma. Here we go. We have the Pinterest layout and look at this, only three lines of text for the caption. Pretty amazing. And we have taller image, we have tall image, tall image, shorter image. Oops, uh, here we go. Come on. Here we go, short image over here and square image. All right, my friend, that is the Pinterest news feed. I hope that you enjoyed this training. I, I know that it's long. I know that it takes a lot of work. I know that it is such a commitment of time and effort that you put in these kind of training. And for that, I honor you. For that, I just congratulate you because not so many people who raise their hand and say that I want to reach the next level of skills for myself, for my family, for my community, for the world, because I know and I trust in what I can create with those skills. Now you have the skills. Now you have the knowledge. Now you have the code. Now you have the power. My question to you is, what are you going to create with this? So let me know in the comment section, what are you going to create with this thing or with anything that you learn in this course. I congratulate you. You have come so far because not so many people raise their hand to say that I want to increase my skills, but also not so many people who sign up for a course, a class, or even any goal and keep going like this. You are awesome, my friend, and you really deserve all the success that you want. So keep doing it, my friend. Keep working. At it. And as always, go out there every single day of your life, learn new things, craft your ideas, and contribute to the world.